Bunny on its way for the first. Race one, Patrick racing or a bit slow there was a gummy gums just flying to the lead now as the lead grey boom but now charging up on the inside pistols princess just and behind the lead grey tycoon now gets that run through the inside davy boy scott found a bit of trouble but got through pistols princess going back now also back in the field now with sniffer brandy also there wicked tycoon up they come allegro tycoon drives the inside allegro tycoon g big run gummy gumster may have just got up to take second there off allegro boom that was close though then on crossing davy boy scott bit of trouble in the race across the top back in the field here we had allegro your uh, wicked tycoon was back pistols princess after jumping well found trouble and has ended back up in the last uh, two or three as well and it just up ahead of him if i didn't call it davy boy scott and there goes the running of the first Racing, taking a blind to the inside there, Little Prophet there, along with uh, plenty of time. And there goes Corborn Sierra going up to make a line of three, getting a lovely run across to the inside now as Alame and Jude coming with it. Good time, Mike. Two or three back to Susan Jill. Back here we go to Peaky Blinder. The outside of that Alame and Golden, Golden out the back is Little Prophet. They charge down the back, plenty of time. Away by two or three, Corborn Sierra trying hard. Running on now as Alame and Jude are not too far away. Good time, Mike. Just in behind that Susan Jill. They go for home. Plenty of time still in front. Here comes Alame and Jude right over the top. Alamein Jude gets up to beat. Plenty of time. Not too far away. Corborn Sarah. Then on crossing. Good time, Mike. Then to Susan Jill. They got right away on the rest of the field here. Little Prophet, Peaky Blinder and Alamein Goldie. He never ride off Don Kettlewell and their Phillips. And they've got the win here. You can see Alamein Jude was really winding it up. And plenty of time. Ran out of time. Racing and Otto Baxter made a good beginning on the inside, trying to come around the outside now as Blazers Corporal and even wider here to a pause, looking to get into the race, swooping into it, serve your purpose. Two or three back, here we go to Thrilling but has got a bit of work to do back there, home was dead. Also out the back is Bullet Tooth, Tony, Carolina Moon, they go for home, money was spot on, Otto Baxter. Otto Baxter will get this okay from Blazers Corporal, what a line up here for third. There's three of them lined across the track, uh, we had Thrilling Abra out wide, was a pause, serve your purpose, not necessarily in that order. Uh, just in behind there, we would have had the Bullet Tooth Tony Carolina Moon. And just up ahead of them to uh, Homebush uh, Ted. Gee, great finish there for third. A great lineup for that third place. But the money was spot on. Otto Baxter picked up a non tote here on Wednesday. <laughs> There they go and taking a fly there has got my money but now headed off by Miss Jolt on the inside coming around the outside is Homebush Pippi on the rail to Nicker Century they've broken away now from Homebush Bike just in behind no time yet out the back is Belfast Jane and King Cobra they go for home out wide now we've got Miss Jolt's got the lead trying hard Scott my money Miss Jolt's got my money then we go to Nicker Century to third then on crossing Homebush Pippi not too far away may have just been nosed out then we go back here to Homebush Bike no time yet didn't show up today and towards the tail Queen Cobra just up ahead of that bill fast jane on the downgrade miss jolt for a trent agent in the class one she's one two on the track <laughs> Racing Corborn Bow took a fly, put two or three on working Jill, and now coming through them now was Lord De Ear. Also, Homebush Dodge is nice and handy around the outside, so unbelievable. Getting a run through Charles Frederick between runners. Back here we go to Cody Breer's not going to do it, and out the back is Tanto's Whisper. They go for home Corborn Bow, two in a row. Gets there from working Jill. Then we go to Charles Frederick, not too far away. Lord De Ear, so unbelievable. Then we go back here to Homebush Dodger and towards the back of the field, Tanto's Whisper and Cody Breer. Didn't back up today. Corborn Bow backed up. 
And two in a row, just to prove that Wednesday's run was no fluke. Comes out running on the inside, the big bloke. Racing and she jumped out well too. Aeroplane Richie, she'll find her. Go up into second, but going ahead of it, Madame Ice. But here she comes now. Aeroplane Richie coming around the outside too is Ben, but getting up underneath that Corborn Josh. Two or three back here. We go to Corborn Gracie back here to Ollie Baxter. And the two at the tail now. We've got Alamain Blonde and Arcane Rampage has got a bit of work to do across the top. Aeroplane Richie finds the lead, gets away three or four on Madame Ice. Just in behind, running around the outside. Corborn Gracie swooping into it back here. We go to Ben, but and Corborn Josh, they go for home. Aeroplane Ritzy clear though, and we'll get the win. Big run, Madame Mice, then we go to Corborn Gracie. Bambit was just in behind that, making up ground. Ollie Baxter. Then we go back here to Arcane Rampage, Corborn Josh, and Alamein Blonde. Not too sure she's run the time tonight, but uh, she hasn't. She's gone 30 43, so big difference. But she didn't jump out first, but Madame Mice came out running, and then she came through the middle. She, she clearly got to second, got past Madame Mice. and flying out there. Hermione Baxter's going to go straight to the front out wide, trying to come round as no demon. The inside there for Rebel J just going ahead of that popper conquest. Sweeping round the outside. Cabal back in the field now getting back as Botany Dave and also back there with it is a homebush Lucifer. They go for home now and out wide here. Snow Demon bounces back. Snow Demon gets a win. Very close here for second. Uh, we've got Hermione Baxter. Homebush Lucifer. That could go either way. Popper conquest wasn't too far away. Then we go to Rebel Joe Cabal and just in behind that one there if we uh, didn't call it, uh, Rebel Joe was just up amongst them. Well, there you go. Snow Demon. I think I had it on top a couple of times in the last three weeks. And Racing, flying out there is Botany John, but not as quick as our Jack Attack's going to go up and head it off. And now looking to come through now is Zuli Mercedes. The inside to found my berries. I've cut right away on the some jeans. Just in behind nominal and back here we go to Gems Conquest. And out the back is filling the void. They go for home. Our Jack Attack money spot on gets there. Botany John second. Then we go back to Zulu Mercedes. Got to third. A uh, bit of a line up here for that to fourth placing. We hit there. Some jeans out wide. Found my berries was getting home. Just in behind two but nominal Lily Gems Conquest and filling the void. Well, there you go. They made it favourite, and that's why. Six, four, and two. I've gone 17, 80, and my, our Jack Attack returns to winning form. <laughs> They go and uh, taking a bit of a fly there. Centre track is thrilling over along there with my little Lucifer. And there goes Paddy Baxter around the outside to burn them off. Getting a nice run through Nitro Mary. Bit of trouble there tracking through Corborn Bird. Off the track now we've got uh, Making Ground. Corborn Alpha tracking through there is Buster Boy. A couple back on crossing to Opava Cross and out wide. Here we go to uh, uh, thrilling over. Got a shuffle across the top and Paddy Baxter away by about six or seven. Trying to come out of the pack is Corborn Alpha. Not too far away there my little Lucifer. But Paddy Baxter's turned up today. Gets the win from Corborn Alpha, then we go to my little Lucifer Corborn Bird. Uh, then on crossing here we had uh, Nitro Mary, thrilling Ava got going towards there, might have got past Nitro Mary, Buster Boy, and Opawa Chris. Well, there you go. There's our biggest upset of the night. Paddy Baxter just took a fly from the outside, but there was squeezing as we have a look. We will have a look at that start again. There's a lot of crowding there going on, and the eight just shot right down the outside. And 
racing and flying out wide. Fair Congress is going to try and run to the lead. The inside home was here is pushing up and now looking to go between the run for Gas. Alpha says she said maybe just in behind that two uh, Rosa Galica out wide to procrastination back in the field. Another fantasy in which Misty they go for home. Home Bush Sarah. The outside run for Gas. Home Bush Sarah. A nose run for Gas. Two or three back here too. She said maybe. Then on crossing we had Rosa Galica out wide. Fair Conquest there with Kennel Mate procrastination. And just in behind another fantasy and which Misty. That's close. Very close. Homebush here on the inside. Runs for gas, was giving plenty on the outside of it. And the one goes up. One, three, two. Racing and flying out there, Road to Liberty, and coming with it out wide, Corborn Butsy just on the inside there, two smashed and broke. Now trying to get past that as Miss Allegro around the outside goes to Perita in force. Also coming into it, just you wait now, getting back now is B Rabbit, and also Corborn Douse is out the back, but Corborn Butsy up from the south, careers away, gets a win here from T Perita in force. Then we go here to a smashed and bro, just you wait was out wide. Then on crossing here, we would have had to Ode to Liberty faded after that good beginning. Uh, B Rabbit was also back, Miss Allegro didn't get the back up. And also the other one there, if we didn't call it uh, Smashed and Bro, or rather Corborn Douse it was, the other one didn't show up today out the back. Well, I deliberately showed the box speed as we expected, but Corborn Butsy. <laughs> Racing and out wide here, Armed Forces showing good speed along there with Winfield Autumn up between them there, Matilda's Faber trying to get around the outsiders, follow fame and starting to do so back here to Will Jetta, a couple back to Homebush, Tyree back here with two, uh, Corborn to Tomcat and you know Heidi they go for home and Armed Forces two in a row, Armed Forces Winfield Autumn, then we go here to uh, Homebush, Tyree got this third, then on crossing here to uh, Il Jetta, uh, something, where's Follow Fame gone towards the back of the field there, there's Homebush, Tiari, home, Corborn, Tomcat and uh, Follow Fame. Did get into third place, but uh, must have copped a check and went back through them. And just up ahead of them, you know Heidi. So there goes a running of the last. And Armed um, Forces came out here fresh up just a couple of weeks ago.